2020, globally, the number of people aged 60 years and older outnumber children younger than five years. All countries face major challenges to ensure that their health and social systems are ready to make the most of this demographic shift. Between 2015 and 2050, the proportion of the world's population over 60 years will nearly double from 12% to 22%. The pace of population aging is much faster than in the past. By 2030, one in six people in the world will be aged 60 years or over. At this time, the share of the population aged 60 years and over will increase from 1 billion in 2020 to 1.4 billion. Global deaths from heart and circulatory diseases average 56,000 people each day, or one death every 1.5 seconds. They are the world's biggest killers. Over one in four, 27% of all global deaths. Stroke remains the second leading cause of death and the third leading cause of death and disability combined in the world. The estimated global cost of stroke is over $721 billion. A country with an entrepreneurial culture and mindset that has earned it being number one in the world in the number of startups per capita and number two in the world per capita in venture capital investment. Driven by challenging formal hierarchies that are not afraid to fail, committed to delivering outcomes that are driven by urgency, and joining forces to support each other, I give you Israel. Now you see you know, the good companies, you see correction with the more focused um, use cases, better understanding of what it really takes to succeed, including health economics. Uh, second, and purely from an investor perspective, I think this is a great time and it would be a great vintage for investors. most important thing about Israel is, yes, we know how to argue with each other, but we really, this, to get, this togetherness is something very strong in Israel, and even if you represent a gigantic pharma company, you can work with another representative from another competitive competition uh, company. So I think this is one of the most important differentiation of the Israeli ecosystem also in innovation. When you watch TV, everything sounds crazy from the outside. But we're now meeting in a conference called ICI in Israel, and it's happening. A lot of people are here, a lot of companies are, are presenting, and the investors are also here. So what you see on TV is not necessarily what's happening in reality. Naturally, the reality is challenging, Can, cannot ignore that. But the company, the, the, the country, has been around for many, many years with ups and downs. It's an, it enables to continue and act upon innovation, find the right companies, find the right investors, and continue and, and drive innovation going forward. So innovation is still happening, investors are still around, creative ideas are happening, and especially during these times of crisis, when people think about the war, people think about the political situation, it leads to a lot of innovation and creative thinking. Innovation continues in Israel. Medicine continues Israel. Cardiologists are active. People are coming. We had visitors, volunteers coming to hospitals during even the very intense days of the, of the war. We said, life goes on, innovations goes on, ICI meeting must go on. We'll have the Israeli audience, we'll have the startups, we'll have the entrepreneurs, and we'll have friends coming from abroad as well. 
we are recovering, we are recalculating uh, our way. The basis of a startup nation is still there. Which direction we'll take and how do we'll take everything in the future, we'll have to see and we'll learn again. But we are determined, as I mentioned, uh, we learned few new words in English like perseverance, like other words, resilience. So, resilience. So those things will take us back to where we were. We are, on the other hand, remembering who we are. Israel is known for reinventing itself and for getting stronger is consequences of hard things that we're undergoing. And definitely this year got us back to that core. And Israel will prevail, and the people of Israel are already moving along. Yes, we have a war. Yes, we have tragedy. Yes, we have funerals. And we have a lot of pain. But we also have a lot of strength. And we are much more united than we've been a year ago. And we are in the process of bouncing back for sure.